Sophia from Nomad Effect here reporting live. Take one. We have been working on our 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ62 for a few months now and we try to give you guys information on our updates on our car in a more scripted and planned way but i feel like we're missing a big chunk of what goes on every day on our lives with this car so there's a lot of little projects here and there that we just feel like it was time to let you guys in and get to know a little bit more for our day to day so we're going to start these weekly updates where we're gonna just be raw and real and we might get done what we get, have to get done. We might not get done what we have to get done, but we want you guys along with us on this journey. So if you like that idea, let us know because then we'll keep doing it. We'll be encouraged and yeah, welcome to our real life now. <laughs> Worst time of the day to be shooting. I've got like shadows all over my face and it all looks pretty crappy. What happens if I turn around? Nope, still pretty bad. Okay, get in, so, get in the shade. so like, <laughs> so like there is no shade, it's Miami. So, all right, so, 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 so. I'm gonna keep saying so until Soph listens to me. My list of things to do every day is always ridiculous. Like it's always like the longest thing in the world. And I have to kind of try and work out whether I can prioritize work, when it comes to making money or whether I should come out here and work on the car because that's what Soph and I really want to be doing and we really want to be bringing you guys more uh, content and we want to be bringing it to you more regularly and we want to be giving you guys something to immerse yourselves in so that you don't have to deal with your day to day like we have to deal with our day to day. And my list of things to do just on the car off the top of my head right now is huge so I'm going to go through and like rattle a few off. So I need to undo the tent and I need to move it back because when we were driving down from New York, there's a crazy whistle. I need to start looking at how to clean up the, <clears throat> the top part here and work out how I can run cabling and power up to the roof rack for lights, charging things in the tent, all sorts of things like that. I need to look at the rust around the bottom part of this windshield. I need to look at whether we want to put the, the heat vents into the bonnet. I need to start prepping this body for monster liner paint, if that's something that we can still afford to do. I need to get these front wheels on. I need to bleed the brakes. I need to go through and talk all the bolts from all the suspension that we installed. I need to put the diff oil in. I need to repaint these wheels because I painted them and then I left them out in the sun and they're all damaged. I need to, what else do I need to do? Like, let's just look under here. Oh, I need to check that the brake lines that I replaced are not leaking. I need to get some degreaser and spray it onto the transfer case and try and find out whether there's a leak there or whether that's just really old grease that was there when we bought the car. Uh, I need to get the front bumper bar off. I need to put the, wheel, the wheels on and get it down and measure how much of a lift we got so I can give you guys an update on the suspension. I need to get the new bumpers out that we were supplied and start preparing them for paint. And I also need to work out how I can wire the new back bumper because that comes with like brake lights and indicators and all those cool things. Literally, I have the longest list of things to do. We're close, but we are so far away. And I don't have the non-rainy daylight hours to get all these things done, it seems. But I'm going to do my best. So, Soph and I are going to try and be more raw with you guys. I keep saying you guys, even though people say we shouldn't say you guys. Tell me down in the comments whether I should refer to you guys as you guys, the internet, my friends. I don't know what I want to call you guys, but like, help me out here. So let me know. And I've spoken really fast. There's no way that YouTube is going to be able to put the subtitles for me down here. So Soph's going to have to do that job. And that's another thing she's going to have to find time for in her day. And honestly, I'm just going to say so, 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 and, 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 maybe whatever, but like, this is our life and this is first world problems. I have to fix my car that I want to go and drive around America and enjoy. So it's my birthday coming up too and I really don't have anything to do and I'd really be loved to be just driving this car off into the sunset like a freaking John Wayne in a Western. So let's, uh, let's jump into all this and just see how much I can get done in a day. Okay, come with me, come here, come, come here. This is another thing that's driving me crazy. So. We have these like scooters that I can never start. So I was like using the, the batteries in this car 
to start the, like we have two batteries, but I was using them to start the freaking scooters. And now I've shot myself in the foot so hard because when I click this, nothing opens. <laughs> so I have two batteries in this car and none of them open the door. So, so for me to be able to open the back door, there's so much crap in here that I can't reach it. I can't even reach the passenger door. So, okay. This is how my day starts when I come out and work on the car. I have to open this thing, move all the crap out of the way, find the jumper leads. Stand on my file. Crank the... Crank that. Is so high for me right now, like filming you. I'm like lifting my hands up in the air, like I just don't care. <laughs> All right, so I have to make sure that these aren't touching each other. So this is the main one that runs our our doors, and this is our extra one. Right, get that connected. Come back over here. I feel like you need to be on the other side of me now. And then, right, and still the door over there didn't open. Shit. We don't have any side steps or anything. Some new rust here. That is the freaking hoops I have to jump through just to start working on this car. She sounds good. Let that battery charge up a little bit. We're still full of brake fluid here, which is a really good sign. That means our brakes aren't leaking. Could they leak? Could the brakes leak only when you turn on, or they would be leaking 24/7? Well, if that, if this little part down here that we thought was leaking was still leaking, we would, uh, we'd see like, like drips on the ground. Like, I don't see any drips on the ground. No, but something's leaking from somewhere. Because I cleaned this off the other day. So I think our, like, I think somehow when we put these brakes back together again, something in here is leaking. so so rusty. Yeah, look how clean that is. We haven't even used these yet. <laughs> This is Florida weather for you. How are we going to work out where this is coming from? Like? Some Miami shit. What does it smell like? I don't know. Is it brake fluid? If so, where is it coming from? Honestly? Where is here? What is that? Like this, where the... The shaft... Like where this knuckle goes in. If it's this, we need to take all of this off again. And buy a seals kit and replace the seals. How much is a seal? From the zoo? <laughs> Do you want to explain what happened? Yeah. POR 15 is great. We've used it all over the car. But when people say that it is not uh, UV safe or UV whatever the hell they say about it, it's not UV something. <clears throat> what it basically means is that if you leave it out in the sun, it's gonna look like this. So this has been hammered by UV and the PLR15 has gone to shit. Eventually this will start just peeling and whatever else, right? This was painted exactly the same time. 
and it hasn't been exposed to the sun and that's what it looks like. So you actually have to coat the the POR15 for it to last like it's supposed to last. And it wasn't a matter, it was just a matter of the weather I didn't let me get out here and respray these wheels. So now I'm going to have to like scuff that all up and repaint it. Oh, it's raining. It's supposed to drop. That two drops. I mean, that was my, my sweat. Your sweat defied gravity? Yeah. I have sweat defying gravity. Defying gravity. Gravity defying sweats. <clears throat> Like people are, will probably watch us doing this and be like, these people are so ghetto. It's Fully ghetto, like this whole like fucking car's ghetto. Painting our freaking wheels. Without masking. With caliper yeah. paint, without masking ourselves. Amateurs at its finest. That's how we roll. What else could we do though, you know? We're doing our best with what we got. It's like that or like we like lose the the freaking rust oleum that we've already put on it, the POR 15, sorry. So I can't get this fucking thing off. <clears throat> Is that turning up there? Let me see. Nope. It's getting looser. Yeah. Now it's turning a little bit. So like it's it's like no matter what, it's just turning and it's thin. It's gonna have to grind them off. As with everything else, it's fucking curve. There it is. You need new gloves. Oh, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> like not getting through it. I'm like fucking up the bumper more than I'm cutting through this thing. We did it, sort of, I think. Yeah. I think there's more to this bumper than just this part, but step one complete, I guess. Ben's a little bit over it today. He's hot and sweaty and just, thought he would not be taking out rivets anymore. There's rivets. The I rivets, don't want to do rivets. The rivets are just a never ending oh. saga of the Toyota Land Cruiser. There's like so much rust in here too. Let's see it. Show, show the world. This is a piece wow. of car. Look at all that. So much in there actually. Where it's all coming from. So I guess what's going to happen now is we need to take off. off these plates. This has to come off. Right? And those are the rivets. I can't really. Those are the rivets. And I believe in you, Ben. I don't. You've done this before. I know, but I don't like it at all. Hopefully you can hear me over this car behind me. I don't have control over other people's cars. Also. So, in here, in front of me, is the amazing tra tra Trail Tailor uh, bumper bar. And all this rust you see is because of my acidic fingerprints on it. And I don't know how to fix that. I don't drink Coca-Cola anymore, which I think, which I used to think was my main reason for that. Anyway, so I noticed how the 
this bumper bar goes in and I wanted to take the old bumper bar off and double check how that's all going to fit before I start drilling out rivets. <clears throat> so right now I'm going to lift this up and do my best He-Man impersonation to try and show you where this is going to go. Good luck. And I think by the looks of it, the holes that I'm about to drill out are exactly where they need to be. Right? Like the trail tailor. Yeah, so it's gonna, look, it's gonna look pretty nice, right? <laughs> Is it cool? I think so. Cool. Okay. All right. So I guess my next job is to drill out rivets. My least favorite job in the world. <laughs> Let's recap, friends. What have we got done today? If you remember, Ben's list was probably about three pages long, and in we accomplished about two of them. Two things. <laughs> we actually got our front bumper out, and we got the rivets out of the front bumper, and we test and fitted our front bumper. And I got some Ross converter on the front bumper. Come check it out. Yeah, come here. Come with us. I don't know. So, so you can see oh, this. This is such a heavy camera. So you can see the purple's just the the purple's just the uh, the rust converter drying. Um, so that'll like basically I don't know what it does. It like converts the rust to iron or some shit. Doesn't really matter. It works great. Uh, and we've used it a lot. Okay, back to it. Yeah, but getting the rivets out probably took the majority of that day. We also got our uh, tires painted. Wheels, babe. Wheels, sorry. I always get those two confused. So we got our wheels painted. And then I started prepping for our rock sliders from Trail Taylor. And if you subscribe to us, you will soon see a new video for specifically <laughs> this rock sliders. Yeah, we're going to do the rock sliders are so cool. We're going to do a video specific to those. <clears throat> but there was just a little bit of like uh, farting around underneath the car we needed to do to just uh, around. Oh, I don't know like I'm old now um, anyway we were farting around underneath the car to make the them fit so we've done that now so when we're doing the video for the rock sliders we don't have to interrupt you guys with really boring shit because we've already done it yeah. so we're doing the boring shit so we can do the exciting shit in the future thinking ahead yeah so but as you can see we are dirty and gross i have mosquito bites literally all over my body and i'm gonna put one last coat on these wheels before it gets too dark for me to be out here i'm gonna leave you with soap for just one second but that's it that's all i have for you so hope you guys enjoyed the weekly update we hope to do this more often and keep you in the loop on all our project and that's it see you guys another day Thank <laughs> you.